Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to have a look at the Nikon S9900 video quality. A few people have asked me how the video quality actually is compared to some other cameras. So I decided to do some sample shots um, with the camera today on the second Christmas day. Um, and uh, you will see them now. Um, I comment all the samples so you know what settings I was actually using. Um, you can still hear the original sound sometimes but nevertheless it's not the emphasis on the sound but more on the video quality itself. Um, starting with the sample, I used the maximum zoom of 750mm and I switched off the VR, which you can see you should not do actually. Um, it's almost impossible, of course the camera is handheld, but nevertheless um, I have quite some experience holding some cameras and this is definitely unusable quality. Um, if you compare it now with the VR switched on, you can see it's way better, you can actually see something on the picture and it's just shaking around. Um, of course it's still a little bit shaky because it's really windy, but um, nevertheless this quality is usable, the other one is just not. Um, coming to the next shot, I used a minimized zoom, so a 25mm, and just did some small panorama um, on the lake against the sun, or towards the sun, or to say, uh, so you can see the quality this way. Um, it gives you some lens flare as you can see, but um, personally I like lens flare on, on videos, because it just yeah, belongs to some shots, and if you shoot the sun or anything else, I really enjoy having lens flare on the pictures itself. And the next shot shows you the full zoom again, I'm using, uh, using it to focus those ducks in the back there on the lake. And actually now you can see how far the zoom range actually goes. Um, and that's really more than enough. Um, some people have asked me whether to get uh, the S9900 or the P610 or anything like that. It has double zoom range, so it has 1500mm. And well, I'm not really sure whether you really need 1500mm zoom range on the camera. Um, I prefer to have a small camera, um, well I have larger cameras of course, but uh, for carrying around this one is definitely much better than a bridge camera, because you can just put it in your pocket. Um, yeah well, the focus uh, itself works a bit slow, you can see it here now, but still it's really sure where it hits, and if it, hit, if it hits once it just stays there. Um, you can see here, um, I took some shots for the depth of field, so um, it's really sharp and the water in the background, which is not far away, is really not sharp anymore, so depth of field is quite nice. Um, he was taking a shot of some small water fall, let's say, um, just a few centimeters. Um, but it's a few meters away and you can hear the sound actually. Uh, it's pretty clear. Um, I put the camera on the uh, rail, uh, so it's pretty steady in this way. It's not handheld at this moment. Um, the next shot shows you some goose. Um, always against the sun here as well. Not really against the sun, but still um, not really light. And you have some small artifacts in the pictures um, when there are some fast moving objects and the camera, I figured, has some trouble with water. Um, it can't focus water even if there are some reflections or anything else and it just pumps forwards and backwards. But uh, nevertheless here you can see the autofocus has the goose inside and well it doesn't really move forward and backward like some other cameras do. Um, so it's, it's pretty um, nice autofocus system for the videos. Uh, you can also turn on a uh, single focus, so you focus once and then it stays with there, but there's no way to focus manually later on. Um, here is the same sample again, I uh, just want to show you this for a second because the colors is really, well, not really bright, but you can still uh, use some programs to make it a bit brighter or shine those colors, make them a bit more shiny, um, but that's up to your uh, preference, I would say. Um, if you have any questions concerning the video quality of the camera, feel free to leave me a comment. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, see you soon. See you soon.